one. Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Ryan, Director of Business Development with MarketWagon.com, and this is Wellness Wednesday. Today, I have another special guest. We have Brett Butler. He is with Alchemy Mobile Mixology. How's it going, Brett? It's going great. How are you doing? Thanks good, for having good. me. It's a little rainy today, but you know. It is. Uh, you know what? In lieu of that, it's it's probably good to stay inside and maybe make a little quarantini. So don't mind me. I'm going to. Right. Hey, I love it. So this is the called quarantini, here. your Alchemy Mobile Mixology. Um, right now, obviously, events are, are a no-go. So so what are right. you doing to stay relevant, to stay in, in, in top of people's minds? Sure. Absolutely. Great question. Well, I, like many other people, are small business owners. So in terms of um, the industry I work in, it's obviously the service industry. So when things took a turn for the worse, um, all my mixology classes that I had planned were canceled, weddings, private events, things I had lined up were just totally canceled like that. So as a small business owner, you realize, well, what do you do? Um, and so at some point I decided what I think a lot of business owners are doing right now, and they decide, well, I have to pivot heard that word a lot and um, tried to figure out how I'm going to take uh, this business in maybe a different direction or something I had planned um, for a while and had on the back burner. And I started making these cocktail mixes, um, which are called alchemy elixirs. And so I started doing that and they really took off. Um, obviously my relationship with you at Market Wagon, um, I'm sure you'll get into, it's an incredible online farmer's market. And so I'm able to be a vendor and sell my mixers, uh, no alcohol, it's just all fresh ingredients, fruits, herbs, things like that. I sell those on marketwagon.com and that really helped a lot. Um, so it's just been kind of another avenue. Like I said, I was gonna go, I was gonna do that for a while, but this kind of ramped it up and it's been just incredible the way it's taken off. I mean, people have a lot of time on their hands and people are stuck at home and we're all in the yep. same position. And so sometimes you tend to wanna have a cocktail at one o'clock as opposed to after work or whatever you want. And I thought, how, how can I, how can I sort of help that out and help people maybe stay sane? Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of the, the idea I came up with. Exactly. Now with your cocktails, you don't have to mix it with alcohol. You could also do a mocktail as well, right? Great. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So um, just kind of long and short of uh, the mixes I make. Uh, like I said, I try to use fresh fruits, fresh herbs, a lot of which I do get off market wagon, but I get kind of wherever I can find them right now. Um, <clears throat> whether it's even just Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or whatever. And so I try to um, involve as much freshness and organic produce and things like that as possible. So you don't need alcohol. You could drink those and add seltzer. You can add maybe a little bit of lemonade or kind of whatever you'd like and, and, like I said, you could just drink them as mocktails, like you said. So they're they're great either way. Now I Cheers. think you got me, and and this is called the quarantini, right? Explain what what's so, in a quarantini. Sure. So this is a uh, quarantini. I didn't invent the term. I just kind of jumped on the bandwagon, and this one in particular is uh, my quarantini elixir. So in this, it involves. Uh, it's basically a simple syrup base. So I try to use um, pure cane sugar instead of just the white granulated as less not healthy as possible. So it's got pure cane sugar, water boiled, and then uh, I add fresh raspberries, hibiscus flowers, um, fresh rosemary, some orange peel, which is great, gives it another um, citrus element. And you just kind of steep all of that, bottle it. And um, like I said, that's uh, basically, it's a really nice fruity lemon drop is what it is. It's a, it's a version of a lemon drop with raspberries and hibiscus and rosemary. I add some lemon juice to it. Um, and so, um, so how many yummy. drinks, how many drinks can you get out of uh, one of your elixirs on, on I, average? Sure. On average, I would say probably seven to eight, uh, in one, in one of these bottles, it's an eight and a half ounce bottle. So you usually do about one ounce pour of the elixir to two ounces of vodka or as much because you feel like you want it <laughs> as well as you need you don't have to stick to that um, right. but it's but it's it's the um yeah it's the ratio so you could probably get seven eight cocktails out of that but a lot of people um a lot of people that have bought my elixirs that have left comments and things like that said they go great as mules so moscow mules are awesome if you like ginger beer um, oh, yeah. So you could you could just have a, a a Moscow Mule and just add about an ounce of that and it becomes a berry mule. So you could, it's very versatile. You can do that as well. That's fun. So 
a little bit uh, within about a minute here. Uh, explain to me how you got involved with uh, with alchemy. How 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 did you come about it? And and uh, and give me a quick sure. quick one minute explanation. One minute explanation. I was living in L.A. Um, film industry. I was working with a lot of great mixologists. They were going to all these farmers markets and going foraging in the woods and doing all these crazy things with cocktails using a lot of fresh ingredients. I like it. and. Um, I just kind of, I said, you know what, I want to take that to another level. I moved back home to Indianapolis and <clears throat> said, I really want to kind of capture that. Okay. Of a farm fresh, farm to glass. Uh, I can still see you. Nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, the light, dark, the yeah, light a little was, shadow. It's a, uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, man. It's like the clapper. I love it. Um, yeah. It's, it's all on back motion. on. <laughs> so I, I wanted to really bring the farm to glass movement from LA back here to Indianapolis. And um, so I came back here two and a half years ago, started my business, Alchemy, ALCO, like alcohol. Um, and um, just kind of took off, you know, doing a lot of private events, weddings, corporate events. Then I started teaching mixology classes. A lot of people think that's a fun way to kind of demystify the whole craft cocktail mixology thing. And they want to be very actively involved. And so that's probably kind of the core of my business has been the mixology classes as well. So it's just a lot of fun. That's awesome. Well, Hey, Brett, listen, thanks for joining me today at wellness Wednesday. Um, that, uh, I am a little jealous right now because you've got a quarantine and I don't have a quarantine. Brother, I, I get, but I gave you, I gave you, uh, I, I do an old fashioned elixir yes. and he's a whiskey guy. So I gave you one. So yep. you might have to wait, I guess, a few hours till you get home, but, yeah. um, yeah. you know what, yeah. just, just, uh, send me a video and we'll, we'll cheers together. I'll, I'll oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have, uh, I have busted open my, my old fashioned. It is, it is delicious. It, and I'm a, I'm a guy that is very, I love whiskey, but I like to kind of a usually drink it neat. Yeah. Um, and, and, uh, but, but I, I, I branched out. Thanks to you, Brett. I branched out. Appreciate that. And, <laughs> and, and I that, said, listen, if it doesn't work out, you can, you can put it on pancakes too. Right. It's some yummy ingredients. So <laughs> That's, either way, I love it. it, I love it with the tilly. Earlier you said something about pivoting. So, so even somebody that gets the elixir, they can, they can pivot and adapt. So. I love it, man. Thank you so much for joining me my, uh, today. My pleasure, and uh, and we're, 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 we're real quick. Uh, yep. List the places we can find you. So you can find my elixirs and hopefully in the future, my services on my Facebook page, which is at Alchemy Life, A-L-C-O-M-Y, L-I-F-E, Alchemy Life. You can also order them on Market Wagon. Just look up Alchemy Elixirs and you can find my elixirs. And I have new flavors coming out next week, a margarita and a blackberry lavender Ooh. mojito. Um, so I'm constantly just um, trying to um, just stay in the lab and stay curious and stay inspired. And so this has been a lot, a, a big help and, and obviously Mark the Wagon as well. So um, yeah, happy Great. cocktailing. Awesome, Be safe, man. everybody. Well, hey, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me, Brett. And uh, like Brett, Brett said, stay safe and, uh, and hopefully the light won't go out. We're finishing up here in 10 seconds and, uh, and have a great week and reach out to either one of us. I'll put, the links to where to find you um, on Perfect. the post on, on, uh, on, on social media. So thanks yeah. so much. Thanks for thanks, watching. Guys. Have a great one. Thank you.